Okay, so everything is painted in silver. I think it looks decent. Finally the wig came. I take for me be it's uh, 95 fiberglass and uh, 5% cotton uh, and uh, the chrome wire came to it's from AliExpress Singapore didn't have to work fine it in, Bul in uh, Bulgaria and this is the safety valve the uh, the working is from 0 to 2 bars. 2 bars is around 29 PCI. It's a little big difference than what I need. I need around 2 P PSI. So I put it to the almost uh, zero tolerance to work properly. I hope it's going to work. Okay. Uh, so, some update of the installation. This is the open close valve on the high pressure side. This is the uh, regulator valve. But it seemed out that it doesn't work the way I, it's, it's supposed to work. Uh, it's uh, needed uh, to reduce the pressure from in this way uh, in from seven bars to. Uh, 50 from 50 to uh, 150 millibars, but uh, it doesn't do that job. There's a regulation here, but even on the minimum on one one setting, uh, it was above uh, 100 uh, millibars. So I put one more uh, reductor here of the of the air, and I hope. Uh, this is going to do the job to keep the system in the one PSI approximately. Um, this is the switch that I'm going to use from putting on and off the, the machine. This is how uh, it looks behind. This is the fuse, 10 amp fuse. Okay, so about the from wire. I bought this 20 gauge. This is must be around awesome, uh, 0.8 millimeters. Oops, sorry. And the resistance is. between the stones are 0.54 and I'm measuring the resistance between the two ends of the wire and now you can see it's point it's around 2 ohms. I'm measuring on the both ends of the wire. Here and here. It must be around 2 ohms. So this is how it looks. Everything is started. The chrome wire, the wicks. Uh, now I'm going to apply the... B, it's on Bulgarian, maybe this is on English. Okay the baby oil uh, I will put uh, baby oil before starting the machine so the wick is nice and uh, it's uh, um, have a lot of oil in it before starting it I don't want the Nichron wire working uh, on, a, on a dry wick okay so everything is set 
I'm go going to hook up the uh, clamps to the battery and see what we are getting here. Okay. This is here. This is here. I guess when it's off, the button is rising, so I'm going to turn it on. I think it's starting to make some smoke. I think it's alive. It's getting bigger and bigger. It smells like baby ass. I didn't connect the air now. I just uh, want to see how much smoke is going to make like that. Okay, I connected the air to the system. The camera is kind of hard to. I, I will take a flashlight and try to show you. Okay, with a flash, right? This is the smoke we are getting. It's a lot of smoke, I think. Let's go and do the job. Yes. Okay, so we install the hose, and this is the smoke we are getting. I think it's enough for fight finding vacuum leaks and evap leaks must do the job so this is the smoke machine this is how to do it it's a lot of job but it's going to save you a lot of money so thanks for watching